Welcome to the farm. Welcome to the farm. I'm Justin, and today we need to work on building a hay feeder for our pigs. And we're going to try to use whatever scrap I have laying around the barn to build this feeder. I have no plans, nothing like that. We're just going to grab some stuff and see what we can come up with. I'm going to start by making the two sides of the feeder, and I'm taking what I have left over from the staircase off to the left of the screen here to make them, and I'm cutting the tops at an angle. So that way I can put a slope roof on and hopefully keep snow from building up on it. Now I'm going to create a front edge just to make sure that the hay doesn't keep spilling out and actually stays in the feeder to keep it dry. And I'm going to do the same thing on the back side. Now we're going to start working on the inside of the hay feeder, the part that will actually hold the hay and the part that the pigs will eat out of. And again, I, I have no plans. I'm just taking the stuff I have and kind of figuring out as I go. So while working on the inside of the feeder here, I thought I'd take a minute to explain why we're building the feeder for our pigs and a little bit about our pigs. So the pork you get at like your normal grocery store is your typical pink pig that you think of when you think of pig. And we actually grew those two years ago and butchered those out ourselves. And they ended up very tough and lean. We had them out on pasture just like the pigs we have now. So we wanted to try something different. We did a little bit of research and found that this breed, the Cooney Cooney pigs that we have, they are a fattier breed. So hopefully we'll have a little more fat substance to them, be a little more juicy, a little more tender, a little more flavorful. But they take longer to grow, which is why we're wintering them. And they also require roughage, grass, hay. And since we're coming into winter here, we don't have grass for them to eat, so we have to supplement with hay, hence building the hay feeder. We could just throw a flake of hay on the ground every couple of days like we have been doing, but I feel like we'd end up going through a lot more hay that way. If we throw it on the ground, it'll get wet, it'll get snowed on, and the pigs just won't eat it. So we put it in the feeder, hoping it'll stay dry, it'll last longer, and we won't waste so much hay. I'm not liking the angle of the inside of the hay feeder. I matched the top board to the slope of the two sideboards, and that ended up being way too steep. So I'm just going to pull some screws out, move this thing forward a little bit, screw it back down. When I installed this lower board in the back, I really didn't have a plan on how I was going to close off the back of the feeder. And now that I have a plan, this board's in the way, so I'm going to pull it off, cut it down, and actually move it to the inside of the feeder. Now I'm going to work on the board that'll go across the back of the feeder. It'll support the roof and the back covering. I want to try to cut it at the angle of the two sides so that way I don't have a gap at the top and the back. If I didn't cut the angle, I'd have to keep the front edge at the same height as the angle and coming across flat that would give me probably about an inch and a half or so gap in the top and the back and I want to try to avoid that so my roof will sit nice and flat on the board in the far back. Now I can take a scrap piece of plywood siding I had left over from our chicken coop build and get our back cut to size. I 
I want to try to make this feeder really easy to refill. So I want to be able to make the back of it hinge open. So we can just open the back, stick a couple flakes of hay in, and close the back back up. In order to do that, I need to cut this in two pieces so I have a place where it can hinge. And now I can screw on the hinges. I cut small pieces of block to put behind the hinges so that there was more for the screws to bite into than just the thin plywood. And now we can put the door in place. Yeah, we can install a latch that I had left over from the chicken coop builds. Now I'll use some chain, some screws, and some washers to make some limiters so the door can only open so far. Now that I got the feeder on some stands, hopefully wide enough where the pigs won't knock this thing over, we can go ahead and move on to the last thing, putting the roof on. Thankfully, this piece was the perfect size. I didn't have to cut it down at all. Screw it down, and I'm done. Well, there it is. Completed pig hay feeder. I'm uh, really happy with how it turned out and how it looks using all just stuff I had in the barn. And I think it turned out really, really nice. As far as functionality, I don't know, time will tell. We'll see how the, the pigs handle it and if they beat it up or if it holds up, if it holds hay in or if they end up pulling it all out and wasting it. But we can always make changes later. So let's, uh, let's go grab the gator and get this thing loaded up and out to the pigs and make them happy. So the feeder's out by the pigs now. It's going to take them a little bit of time to get used to the hay feeder and start using it. We've been feeding them right in front of the hay feeder to try to get them out there and used to it. I think what I need to do also is pull that front board off after they've been using it now for a couple weeks. They don't seem to be pulling the hay out as well. And I think that board is restricting. So I may end up taking that off and seeing if it works a little bit better. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.